Mr. Kimmelman, it, it seems like the lack of clarity surrounding some key aspects of this proposal would likely provide incentives for litigation. The lack of certainty will lead the parties to court. Uh, just as an example, I'm not sure I understand exactly what falls inside or outside the definition of a specialized service. So let me ask you, uh, what hope does an individual consumer have against the legal and the lobbying sway and, in fact, overwhelming power of some of the bigger players here if uh, there is that lack of clarity. <clears throat> Thank you, Senator. I think you're absolutely right. I think it's very hard for consumers after the fact. Uh, I think Mr. Meisner said this well before. If something's happening to their service, they have no idea where in the network the problem is. They have no idea who to blame or who's responsible. And so very hard to come in after the fact and, and, and file a complaint when you're not even sure who is responsible and the other side has massive resources. Um, I actually agree with Mr. Meisner's general approach. I would say, though, that, that from my perception of what is going on at the FCC, um, that it would be best to, to sit back and, and wait and see the details because I believe they will, within their responsibility, as Mr. Meisner indicated, move forward prudently and appropriately to uh, address all of the principles that the chairman has put out in this draft. I don't believe it will be an overreach. I would be stunned if it were. And I think at that point it would be appropriate for the committee to look at that and see is there something that is left that needs to be uh, adjusted? Um, I, 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 th I think the FCC has gotten the message loud and clear to be careful and prudent in how it applies its current authority. So you're, you're saying, in effect, that legislation at this point may be a solution in search of a problem before we know whether there is overreach. I, I, Senator, I wouldn't want to go that far. I think it's always appropriate for the Senate to consider what the appropriate policies are. But I, again, just urge caution and prudence here to wait and see what some of the details are before moving too far. So, and let me draw a different analogy then. What you're suggesting is a yellow blinking light instead of a red or a green. Yes, thank you. Thank you.